Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I am Van, and we are all the LFR family. You cannot back out of this now. We are part of the we are part of the LFR family gang now. Gang, 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 gang. LFR. Thank y'all for joining me on this journey, and hopefully, we get to see some Emily Campagno. And shout out to everyone who has been purchasing hats. If you haven't purchased one yet, go to hatsforsale.com. Make sure that you put an LFR. 10 so you get 10 percent off and free shipping all across america and also shout out huge shout out to the three people who trusted me enough to go to bluemonsterprep.com and purchase something thank you so much anyone else that want to go there and purchase something make sure you put an lfr as the code free shipping and if you spend more than a hundred bucks gina and patrick told me that they will hook you up with something amazing, okay? Emily America's Cabano. crime crisis has become one of the top concerns among voters ahead of the midterms and a liability for Democrats. Horrific violent scenes like- That's, that's uh, Emily Campagno, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Emily Campagno, you should not, I'm sorry. You should not look like this if you're reporting the news. You shouldn't. Sorry, hate to be a sexist, but come on now. You shouldn't come on okay these in democratic led cities are exactly why wow in new york a homeless man attacked a 33 year old woman at the jfk subway station that poor woman bruh that's a goddamn woman man please tell me somebody beat the brakes off that dude man somebody please tell me that some man came out from from somewhere that dude that's walking up to him right now put beat the hell out of this dude man I swear to goodness, you don't do that to no damn woman. I don't, what? Dude, not only did he drag her down, but he tried to punch her in her face, punched her in her face as hard as he possibly could, and then tried to stomp her in the head, man. Come on, man. What type of man are you? Who raised you, bruh? Who raised you, man? That dude is a damn demon. You are a demon, man. Hopefully they catch this dude and... Oh my gracious, this is ridiculous. Ain't no way in the world, man. Ain't no, come on, man. You don't do that to no woman. The hell wrong with you? The woman now says she could lose her eye. According to the New York Post, the attacker- And the man was scared to catch some, catch some of that too. No, you be willing to catch some of that too, bruh. You be willing to catch some of that too. Ain't no way in the world you are gonna do that to a woman in front of me and I'm just going to run away from you. No. Like, I'm going to jump towards you and hopefully you run away. You'd be scared. And if you jump back at me, I'm bawling out. That dude that ran the hell away. Come on, man. Y'all some suckers, bruh. Parker has seven prior arrests, including assaulting another woman with a screwdriver. In Chicago, new video shows two suspects attacking and robbing a man on the train. They ask for the man's ID a few times before then hitting him over the head with a wine bottle. Our Peter Ducey pressed White House press. <sighs> I want to be so angry and upset right now, but now I see why y'all got Emily Campagno reporting the news because she takes your mind away from the ignorance. She, she, I mean, she tries. She she takes the anger, the the fire, that that extra fire that's on the back of your neck that makes you want to just jump up and choke the hell out of somebody. She takes that away from it. She just pull that off like it's like a an eye massage. You know what I mean? It's just it just cools you out, chills you out just a little bit. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down, Emily. I'm picking up what you're putting down. She's saying, "Calm down. I'm calm. Thank you. Thank you so much." Secretary Jean-Pierre on stats showing the rising crime in major cities across the country. Watch. Does President Biden think America's big cities are safe? Can you say more? Well, we know that thefts and robberies are up about 20% in the first half of this year, so I'm wondering if he thinks America's big cities are safe. So I'll, I'll say this, um, that same story also uh, stated that the crime is complicated and multifaceted. Uh, look, this is a president uh, who has secured historic funding uh, to make sure that uh, law enforcement has what it needs. So I guess... Corinne Jean-Pierre, do us all a favor and be honest 
we get that you have a job to do. We get that you have to protect who's in the office. Well, come on, man. Just answer the, uh, first of all, you can do that. How about that? Rather than, rather than try to, trying to spin it or trying to say, well, I get that what you're asking me is somewhat negative toward the office that I'm here to protect. So I'm going to offer you something else that's far more positive. Like he has put a lot more money inside of blah, 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 blah. What is all that money doing? That's the thing. Huh? That's what Ducey is saying. It's like, oh, so what is all that money doing? Y'all putting all that money into where it's supposed to go, right? To what end? You're, you're trying to see some positive results, am I right? So if you're trying to see some positive results by putting all that money in that the country does not have, but you have, you're have putting all that money and you're not get, receiving any results that you claim to want. It almost seems like it's something that you are benefiting from the crime that's happening in these cities. Answer the question, man. Like, well, he asked you, is, is Joe Biden happy with how the, how the city, how the urban cities are, 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 um, are responding to, to the laws in their city or new legislation and whatnot. You can't answer that. That's crazy. I don't get it, man. Why are these people not? Why is it so difficult to be honest? Just the original question: Does President Biden think America's big cities are safe? It is not. It is not a. Um... Yes or no? Yes or no? It is not a yes or no question. It is very much a question of what has he done, Harris. What more does he need to say? What more do Americans need to say to the White House press secretary and to our president to demand that our citizens stay safe? She's so pretty. <laughs> she seems nice. But the answers aren't in that binder, apparently. I really like that, how she started out. I really like the way that she started that out. Women showing love to other women. That is seeing... See, this is the thing I like about Outnumbered. Like, they throw you off. Like, you're upset, and then they throw you off with something calming. She's so pretty. I think she's very nice. But that binder doesn't have the answers to the questions you're being asked. Stop looking in the binder. <laughs> Only thing that's in that binder is written a thousand times before she came near Peter Ducey will not destroy you today. You are bigger than Peter Ducey. Peter Ducey is not smarter than you. Peter Ducey is not prettier than you. Pretty Ducey. Peter Ducey stank. Peter Ducey can't swim. He got a small dangling. That's what she's looking at in that binder. She's looking at things to remind her why she should not be defeated by Peter Daggone Ducey. <laughs> He asked her, are we safe? And she said, tell me more, ask more, give me more information. What America is she living in that she manages to avoid the images on the evening news? Mm. They have pictures all over the White House. She works in the press office filled with press. <laughs> like, how does she not get the messaging? See, that's the thing too, man. This dude that ran up to a lady, dragged her down to the ground, punched her in the face four times as hard as he possibly could. And she is still moving. The man that saw that should understand that if that happens, this guy is not only a punk, but he's a punk because he cannot fight. He has no power. Whoop his ass, bruh. We have a responsibility to um, sometimes to step in there. If somebody's going to die today between me and that lady, guess what? It ain't going to be that lady. I'm sorry to keep on going back off on that. Where's, okay, Emily Campagno going to have to fix that again. That we are under siege as citizens and the criminals are winning. Where is she? More importantly, though, why isn't she up in her boss's face saying, what do you want me to tell the people, Mr. President? 
because she needs something more than what she's being fed in that binder. It's not enough. Now, let's talk about what they could be doing. The president has said that he's pouring lots of money in and that he never told anybody not to spend it on police. And now he's saying, oh, you know, you should spend it on police. But the law itself doesn't say that. It says you have not a requirement, but a choice to spend on, you know, law enforcement. Whatever that can mean, equipment, whatever it is, personnel. So what more could he do? He could use his bully pulpit to stand up and say, we will not defund, we will not abolish, mm -hmm. we will support, we will stop all this negative, dangerous rhetoric that has officers killing themselves at a rate we've never seen before, especially here in the NYPD. The suicide rate is so high. Use your bully pulpit, the house that we pay for, mm -hmm. to speak against mm -hmm. what you know is wrong and lift up those who can help make it right. Part of what I find so unacceptable, Kaylee, is that in her answer, she quoted the New York Times and said, well, well crime is complicated and proceeded to quote the press. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why our president needs to rely on the New York Times to explain the crime that is facing average Americans every day. As Harris put it, we are under siege. Why do they have to go to an ancillary source rather than talking to us as normal average American citizens that they are supposed to represent who are living in fear? Yeah, or to Harris's point, look up on the screens and your office. I know I had a split screen of all four networks. Fox yeah. was one of them. Uh, we put up the images of crime, even though others might ignore it. So look at what's in right, right in front of the desk you're typing on, Karina. I was just now about to ask that um, Kylie, um, Kaylee, Kylie, Kaylee, y'all let me know how exactly to pronounce that. If the other networks are showing these same images that y'all are showing, these videos that y'all are showing of teenagers and, and adults being ridiculous in these this is sad man this is sad because just like emily just now said why can't you just answer the question as if i'm i i'm another concerned american it ain't always got to be chess moves because guess what we're not only asking these questions to see, okay, you asked me if Joe Biden is happy with the crime that's happening in these cities. And your answer was to be, no, he's not happy. Why would you ask that? Have you seen the news? Have you seen what's going on around this country? It's horrible. And we're trying to do everything in our power to fix this. One thing we are doing is putting more money into law enforcement. We're having far more, like, that's what you do. You answer the question honestly, because Joe Biden can't possibly be happy with this. And then you transition over to what you're doing to try to get in the way of, I mean, try to try to make things better. There's no way in the world you can, like, you got this job for a reason, I, I'm still trying to figure out the reason, though. It's, it's not because, I mean, I don't know if they got, they gave it to you because you're a little cutie pie, um, you're black, and you're part of LGBTQ community. If that's what happened, then that's sad. And, and hopefully you see this. Hopefully she sees this or someone who supports her sees this. That right there is not enough to represent like seriously hopefully you were not put in a position um just to be that you know what i mean because that happens all the time it happens all the time man you got to be honest like earn your position after this after this is over because joe biden is not getting reelected. he's not and i know you probably can't wait for this to be over but this is the game that you decide to play in, the political game. You were blessed with this position. Serve. Do your thing. Go out with a bang. Like, come on now. Get busy. You will be well respected if you turn or turn this around and start just being more truthful. Look at Kaylee McEnany. She was up there kicking ass as she represented donald trump she was kicking reporters ass they couldn't do anything with her now look at her extremely well respected 
So I'm just saying, you got to set yourself up for your next. You never know what your next is going to be. What, what type of opportunities are going to be afforded you? I hope you're not just depending on friendly, friendly offers, like people who just like, they were mean to you and they didn't, you didn't deserve to be treated that way. Right now, what I'm hearing is Peter Ducey being extremely respectful to you. He's not yelling. He's not being all, you know, um, attitudinous. He's not using a whole bunch of sarcasm, like none of that. He's asking you point blank questions that you are going out of your way to answer. It's like you were told not to answer any of his, his questions. Maybe that's what's written a thousand times in your dag on little, little folder. Do not answer Peter Ducey. Do not answer Peter Ducey. Acknowledge him. Tell him that you'll answer his question, but then do not answer him. Or he'll, he'll hate that. Jean -Pierre. Um, but instead, she answers Peter Ducey and says, when he asks, are our cities safe? She said, that's not a yes or no question. That's by definition a yes or no question, and the answer is no. Then she proceeded to say, quote, um, we inherited a rising crime from the last administration, which, mm. by the way, Jen Psaki, before she had that revelation about crime, she tried the same failed talking point that this has been going on for a year and a half. She said this last year. Well, why was it going on? You nailed this beautifully yesterday, Emily, because of defund the police, because of these lawless Democrat DAs. It's not the last administration. It's your party. And then they try to tell us that they live in this mythical Biden's America, which is different than what we live in. Live in. If you watch these press briefings, you're going to hear the border secure. You're going to hear crime's not a problem. I can tell you that's not and, a problem. And you're going to hear, uh, what is the third one? Inflation is coming down. It's mm. flatlined. Okay, Only this is a inch. mythical place, President Biden. No one else lives in this America other than, I guess, KJP. And to Kaylee's point, Brian, it doesn't matter what the White House continues to tell us or what they want us to believe because Ameri Americans see their own reality and feel our own reality every day. And that reality is what looks like those horrifying videos on the screen that we put up every day of horrific crime. Y you can't lie on this one. You can't make stuff up on this one because people like my wife ride the subway and she knows what it's like there. And everybody across this country lives in places like Chicago and LA and San Francisco. So why they keep trying to lie and dissemble boggles my mind, except I just don't think they care that much about this one. Mm -hmm. This is an inconvenient issue for them and they'd rather sweep it under the rug and you can see it and KJP's body language there, she's not looking at Peter, she's looking in the notes. What do you mean by that? Well, the New York Times says, say, translation, I don't is care. Near. Yeah, that's exactly what Every that is. Every page, yeah. lunch is near, yeah. <laughs> lunch is near. So yeah. Laura, as Brian brings up who cares and who clearly doesn't care, we have a poll, WAPO ABC, that says, which party do you trust to do a better job handling crime? Clearly, Americans feel Republicans, 56%, that Republicans do a better job handling crime. And that is such an important point to note as we head into the midterms. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's one of the top issues on people's minds right now. Look, if you don't have safety and security, nothing else matters, right? That is number one fundamental. It's why so many people have moved out of these big cities. And where is it that we see the crime? We see... Yeah, I apologize, man. I, I, I really... This is why I don't watch the news. This is why I don't watch the news, man. It really, really, it really, really bothers me. Regardless if I'm doing reactions or not, like, I don't like watching the news, man. I do not like watching it at all. I hate what I'm seeing. How could you not? How could you not hate what you're seeing? And if I hate what I'm seeing, I don't want to evoke that same emotion on someone else. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside of the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all.